Welcome back, Blade Gang. This old sword with you once again. And we have a new fixed blade today on the block. Something from CJRB, which are the folks at Artisan. Uh, when this came out as a prototype earlier in 2021, it looked like it was going to be labeled under the Artisan, but it was well received, they said, so Artisan said and ended up uh, going under the CJRB budget friendly line. So uh, this is the Silax, I'm sorry, Silax. I'm gonna call it the Silax because of the single L. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know that pronunciations make the knife or not, but we'll see. So I'm reading from knife news here that um, Artisan has announced that the Silax, a mid-sized fixed blade designed by Dylan Mallory, is being transitioned from Artisan's main line to its CA, CJRB label. Um, so uh, this decision follows in the wake of an extremely positive response. Uh, a prototype batch of knives received last month, etc., etc. So um, the article's out there. You can read it if you uh, look up the knife name and uh, knife news, or just go to knife news. Um, and it is an interesting idea of a knife. Very light, very kitchen-esque kind of like a uh, something you would use in food prep although I'm reading that they really want it to also double as a uh, camp knife maybe lightweight outdoor knife let me see if I can back out a little bit it comes in several handle colors I believe OD green black and this desert tan the nice thing that they're doing, and I noticed this with the Sea Snake, if you look up that review that I did, a very small knife by Mike Emler, that they're matching the Kydex sheath to the handle color. Kind of a cool thing, fashion statement, what have you. Certainly blends together. Uh, this is interesting because it looks like <laughs> it could be a, a lanyard for your neck. I'm not sure doesn't come with any sort of belt attachment so it's slim enough you could certainly drop it into your pocket but it's going to stick out and we're going to get some quick specs on this simply because I haven't looked up any online we may as well do it real time and let's see if we can get a little bit more room here oh, by the way it is um, made of the new um, AR RPM9 steel, stainless steel, that uh, Artisan is putting on a lot of their budget line. Let's see if we can get the overall length for you. So we've got nine and three quarters. And we got a blade length of 5, and uh, we're going to call it like a 5.1. Yeah, 5.1. Got an edge of about 5.2. Got an interesting finger choil there. Not really cut out too prominently. Uh, the handle slabs are held together by three screws with uh, what looks like a T8 Torx on the right side. There is uh, Dylan Mallory's brand. And we actually have a serial on this as well, which is quite interesting for a knife that's coming in, I think, around the $60 range or so. You can get these on White Mountain. That's where I got mine. There's the CJRB moniker. It's an exposed tang knife, not tapered, and it is a thin handle. So let's start looking at a few of those specs. 
half inch exactly and blade stocks going to be on the thinner side 2.6 2.7 we'll call it a 2.7 if I don't squeeze and very lightweight so let's see what we got yes 4.14 ounces for a fixed blade of this length uh, definitely lightweight um, you still got a good amount to hand hang on to as a working knife um, I'm going to give you a quick comparison to another blade that I reviewed recently. Seems like both Civivi and uh, CGRB are after a similar market. And uh, this one, if you didn't see my review, is the Civivi Kepler and that is a Torbay design. This is a heavier knife by far. Thicker stock, heavier weight, but taller and slightly longer by maybe three quarters of an inch, half an inch around there. Pretty much in the ballpark though. Uh, however, with the Kepler, We've got a sheath, if I get it in the right way, with a tech lock. So you can carry that. Uh, not sure what the intent is here with the uh, pared down sheath. You could put a tech lock on there. You could put a belt loop through there. Could simply tuck it into your waistband. Um, I really can't envision hanging it around the neck, although yeah you could very slicey high flat grind let's see if it'll cut anything okay found some paper yeah And I'm not making it easy for it, but it's definitely just lasering right through that printer paper. That's a sharp knife out of the box. And let's take another tour around real quick. There's not a lot to see. It, there's no mechanics to it as there is in a folding knife. Um, they do maintain thickness pretty well out to the point because we'll call it kind of um, a Warncliffe uh, maybe a slight Santoku sort of a um, design as it's been mentioned in some reviews if we compare it again to the Kepler got a whole different blade geometry there but really the belly of these blades, if I can get them lined up here, is not too dissimilar. We've got maybe a little more meat showing up. Well, maybe, maybe about the same. Now, a lot of people are interested in points lately, and I am. We can get them in focus together without using my hand. So there's your point on the Kepler. And there's your point on the Silax. Keep wanting to call it Silax. Maybe that sounds kind of like you get something uh, at the drugstore. <laughs> get your Silax. Uh, so the Silax by uh, CJRB, parent company Artisan Cutlery. Let me know what you think. I haven't seen too many reviews out there yet on this other than from Artisan themselves. And uh, 
I think maybe uh, Knife Center did something with the artists and folks. But uh, interesting blade for sure. Uh, seems to be trending with these outdoor, indoor, camp utility kitchen knives um, that come with sheaths. Certainly, I don't think you could go wrong with this thing and um, food prep. Make a nice nice knife at around, uh, what do we say, 5 inch blade. What did we say? Yeah, 5 inch blade. So, uh, not a full size chef knife by any means, but certainly something you could use for food prep. Let me know what you think. Give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. This old sword, signing out.